Hi, my name is Alicia and I will present our contribution to the Bretts in Painting Challenge titled Denoising Diffusion Models for Inpainting of Healthy Brain Tissue. My co-authors are Philipp Gatta and Julia Wolleb, and we are all from the University of Basel in Switzerland. So our method uses a slicewise two-dimensional denoising diffusion probabilistic model, short DDPM. Just as a short recap, in diffusion models, we start from an original image X0 and iteratively add noise in the forward process QXT given XT minus one till we get the image X capital T resembling random Gaussian noise. So if we want to reverse the process, the problem is that QXT minus one given XT is intractable. We therefore want to approximate the reverse process using p theta. p theta is defined as a normal distribution with mean mu theta and variance sigma theta. The aim is to determine mu theta and sigma theta so that p theta and q match. So by learning the mean and variance, a model, here a unit, can be trained to predict the noise scheme in xt to generate a slightly denoised xt minus one. So for our approach, we need the ground roof image xgt, a mask m that masks out some healthy tissue of the ground roof image, as well as the masked ground roof image denoted as b. To avoid high computation costs, we propose a 2D approach and slice the volumes and consider only the transversal slices i with a non-zero mask for training. We take a random time step t and compute a noisy image xit from the ground roof slice xigt. The final goal is to predict the slightly denoised image xit minus one. We add the slice context information of our baseline image bi and the mask mi through channel wise concatenation. This concatenated image capital XT then serves as input to our diffusion model, which predicts the noise at time step T. The image XIT minus one can then be computed via a denoising step. To train the diffusion model, the loss term that you can see here in dark blue is used. During the sampling, we look through all slices of the masked 3D volume and only modify the slices BI with non-zero mask MI. For each of these slices, the starting point XI capital T is set to random Gaussian noise. So we apply the denoising for all capital T time steps until we get the prediction XI zero for each slice with a non-zero mask. We then replace the masked slices bi in the 3D scan b with the predicted slices xi0 to get the transformed scan. We obtain the following metrics for the twofold cross-validation we performed using the training data. On average, the SSIM is 0.7884, PSNR is 18.7441, and the MSE is 0.0144. Regarding the validation set, we obtain a similar SSIM, a better PSNR and MSE compared to the twofold cross-validation using the training data. We can now have a look at some exemplary images created in our cross-validation. We have this mask slice and the mask as input, and we obtain a generated sample which is of good quality and shows a high similarity to the corresponding ground roof. So our model is trained to generate transversal slices. If we stack the generated slices to a 3D volume, we can have a look at an exemplary coronal slice. Our generated sample shows some stripe artifacts due to the stacking of the transversal slices. However, we can smoothen these artifacts using a Gaussian filter. To conclude this presentation, I would like to thank my supervisors Philip Gatta and Julia Wolleb, and of course also our whole research group. Thank you for your attention.